So far in these videos, I've showed you how to use Zotero to capture sources and annotate those sources. And all of that helps in making your research uh, easier and more efficient. But where Zotero really begins to shine is when it comes to citation and generating both in-text citations and lists of references. In this video, I'm going to show you some quick tricks for using Zotero to create bibliographic entries. I'm going to start by showing you how to copy and paste entries into text documents or emails, and then show you how you can do the same thing just by dragging and dropping, and then finally, how you can create long lists of references in an RTF file. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to have two programs open. The first is Zotero, and you can see that I have it open to the view where it takes up the entire browser window. Also, look here in Preferences and make sure you have selected Export. Now here I have the default output format set to Chicago Manual of Style, 16th edition, author date. But if you're using uh, a different format, you can select from the list that Zotero provides you. I'm going to close that. The other program that I'm using is Microsoft Word. And it's important to know that I'm using Word just for demonstration here. The tips that I'm going to show you, you could use them in another text editor, um, pasting them into uh, in some sort of online forum, or into an email. I'm going to go back to Zotero now, and let's say I just want to um, copy and paste one complete citation for a source and put it in an email to send it to someone, or put it in a text document. All I would need to do is I simply make sure that I have the parent item selected, Let's try translation, resistance, and activism. And then I uh, type in command shift C. Or if you're using a PC, it would be control shift C. I then go back to Word and I type in command V or control V for this a has PC. This generated the complete citation and you can for see me. That. So again, let's just do that quickly. Again, let's delete this one. Command Shift C or Control Shift C, and then Command V or Control V. And there's my complete citation. This also works with multiple sources. Let's say I select these four. I'm uh, holding down Shift and then selecting the top and bottom sources. Again, I hit Command Shift C or Control Shift C, and then Command V or Control V. And you can see here's my list of sources. One thing you might notice here is that, and this is just in the case of Word documents, sometimes when you do this with Zotero, the citations end up being aligned far too, too much to the right. And so you would actually just need to adjust them by dragging them back so that they're flush with the margin of the page. I'm going to delete this again. And now I'm going to minimize the uh, Word window. And uh, let's see here. I'm also going to minimize Zotero so that they're here on the same in the same window. Another way, if you don't want to bother with using uh, Command Shift C, is you can actually just drag and drop the citations. So you can see that I have these five sources selected here, and I'm just going to drag them to where I want the text to be, and there they are. All right, let's delete these. Let's go back to Zotero. Another way to quickly generate citations is you select the sources that you want, then you right click, you get this menu, and you click on Create Bibliography from Items. From there you can select the format, the language, you want to make sure you have bibliography selected, and here let's select Copy to Clipboard. I'm going to hit OK. So all of the citation information is on my clipboard, and then I just need to go where to the program where I want to put that text, and I paste it, hitting Control or Command V. I'm going to delete this. Finally, one last way to create uh, quick citations or a quick list of references is to generate a completely separate document. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this Word document. I don't need to save it. Now I am back in Zotero, and I'm going to do the same trick that I did before. I'll select a few more sources. I'm going to right-click and then go to Create Bibliography from Items. And instead of selecting Copy to Clipboard, I'm going to say Save as RTF. And RTF is short for Rich Text Format. And it's a, a, a document format similar to Word, but it's compatible with uh, a larger set of programs. So I'm going to click OK. The dialog box will come up. I'm going to save it to my desktop. You can see that it is now saved to my desktop. Here it is. And then I'm going to open it. I'm actually going to open it in Word. And you can see here is the complete list of references that I selected from Zotero. So whether you're using the copy-paste function, the drag-and-drop function, or whether you're creating a list of references in a separate file, these are ways in which you can quickly create several bibliographic entries using Zotero.